Stick a stick with the follow. Appreciate it, man. Okay. So here's my theory, okay? For reprogram to work, you need efficient block cards to offset the costs and I think you need hologram so I think you need hologram to do it more than once and you need things like auto shields for one energy to, to help you play it uh, aside from that I don't know how else it's gonna work I guess like all for one seems like a decent idea because like steam barrier and claws and stuff okay so this is a good first shop we want to remove the doubt but we also could go something of courage and go for strength elites or we can go for an early potion belt they're both very tempting. So think of courage is something I'm fond of, but you know, the defect is not always very strength oriented. There's rip and tear, and that's really good. Question card is good, but it's too expensive, and I'm, I, I think that's the only reason why I can't take it. What's up, Kazuchiya? What's up, man? How you doing? Potion is very good, though. So let's do this. Let's go for a potion belt. We can even buy a potion because we're going to go for the elite, right? We want the front loaded. So last time we totally forgot about the front loaded. We, we understood that we got everything else in the deck, but the front loaded. So that was an issue. Oh, there was another shop. Remember that. So I kind of messed that up. There was another shop. Because there's another shop, I'm going to get the gold. Even though... Whoa. Okay, so this is... Bottle lightning is very good on the defects. But getting this early is probably an easy pass. That's a colorless potion. Probably an easy patch here. Interesting. We just missed out. Oh, that was a doozy right there. What's up, Jack or not? I mean, hair's a little crazy, but yeah, we, we brought it out of the, the hat. Embracing it. Let's Okay. So I can go for the damage in the ball lightning, or I can go for the reinforced body, which is a great block. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Who's the boss? Hexaghost. Man, that feels bad. It does feel a little bad. Here's what I want to do, though. Hit the shop, and I might go for the sparkle right now. Chaos versus remove. Are we just removing again now? Removing is not bad because it makes me hit streamline more often. And ball lightning. I think we can do the sparkle with this. So then we're going to get one less campfire, but we get the relic. That's good. We have no potions, though, going into this. I just realized we have no potions. So this is actually kind of dubious. I just realized we have no potions. That's a really bad turn. I got no damage on that turn. But we, we prevailed. We prevailed. <laughs> War paint focus. Nice. Melter's very strong. Alright. Got the zap upgrade as well. Like, I almost love it. I, I, I do want to get some more leaps because I feel like our block is now suffering just a little bit. We're getting some good potions. Seek is fantastic. Okay. We don't have AoE, so this fight's a little bit rough, but Bag of Marbles is OP. Where's Bottle Lightning now? We have good early game cards for sure. Okay. 
Static Discharge, Barrage, or Cool Headed? Well, I think we should get some Frost, right? But Static Discharge is just, just, just better. Just better. Straight up. It's just better. We do need to get some block, though. After this. Okay, there's a world in which... Hmm. How much is Melton doing? 15? Melton does 15, yeah? Oof. I did play Surviving Mars. I like Surviving Mars. I remember I played that like a year ago or maybe even more. I enjoyed it. And then they made a couple of updates. There's also some mods that make it better. I think if you like those kind of games, it's just it's good. It's a good game. I'm trying to save life here, guys. I'm trying to save some life here. Fortunate. Sometimes you gotta do that. Alright, I'm gonna trust that we have lethal, right? They can go for full block, or is it just not worth it? What's up, dropping dimes? That one HP, it's gonna come back, don't worry. The only problem is this damage right here. That's 21 life I'm gonna lose, or 16, right? I can use Essence of Dark to end the fight right here, and the Essence of Dark basically is protecting me for 20, uh, 16 life. Seems worth it. 16 life for a potion. This is a really good potion. Otherwise, though, this can absolutely just handle a boss or an act to elite by itself. All right, I'll get the coin. Maybe leap was better though. Like I guess if if we we did kind of want to go for a rebound deck. I mean, sorry, a reprogram deck, but I can't really force that. What's up, TJ? It's a uh, Hexaghost. I can allow us to take, take a hit here. I think we're good on damage, so I'm not going to waste focus, but... We can allow us to take a small little hit, right? What about a big hit, actually? I'm taking, like, 15 damage. I think that's fine. Is the game a little loud still? I think it is, actually. Jesus. Compared to my voice, at least. I can take more hits. for the hair. <laughs> Two focus spots. That's very good. Okay. So we got rainbow all for one multicasts. I think okay all for one hits the, the zap and it also brings back the streamline once it's already lowered. But aside from that it's not that great I don't think. I think rainbow is probably better. It gives me some dark and some frost. Ah uh, potion belt sozu. Or sacred bark potion belt. Okay. These are we have two options. We can go Double the effect of our potions, or keep the potions we have and say, well, this was just an unfortunate purchase. Or we go Tiny House. Sacred Park is pretty good. It gives me four focus here. And if we get a white beast statue, then we can totally... Yeah, so the, there was a new... In beta, there's a lot of different updates, a lot of different relics, a lot of changes. And act uh, fourth character as well. Now, we are going to have a problem energy in Act 2. Absolutely. In Act, we're going to have streamline problems, rainbow problems. You're going to see the problems of energy in Act 2. Act 1 is not a good way to... Uh, we could try to take the Sacred Bark and like Hyrule into White Beast Statue. Or We are going to have problems of energy, though.
We can sustain though. So when we go to campfires, we can sustain with the um, eternal feather. What's up, Jimbo Enchant? I wonder if the eternal feather makes ticket break worth it. I mean, to be honest though, <sighs> fine. Let's do it. Let's try this out. Potion Bell, Sacred Bark. Let's go for it. I'm absolutely going to want the energy. So we're going to have to figure out a way to handle energy right now. But first, what I want to do is go to these elite fights and just pop these potions because that's where they're most effective. Or, Jesus Christ, one, two, three, four, two elites, three heals at the campfires, plus upgrades. That's not bad. That's a lot of upgrades and free heals. Over here, we're going to go to the shop and we can go for the elite ASAP to use the focus pot. But it's a lot less safe. And here we don't get a shot, but maybe we get a shot if we're lucky. Hop it back in one second. Okay. Oh man, that's uh, that's meant dark. So I guess we have to just hope for region pods and stuff, right? Yeah, you should get on beta, man. Once you go on beta, you never go back. Alchemist is a silent card it's in the game. I mean, I can take damage because of the Sacred Bark, right? We just gotta survive the next two hallway fights. I'm thinking. What if I just do like cool headed static defense? I mean, there also comes a point where, like, maybe you want to take as much damage. Not they're so good, though. Okay. So, I think we, again, we have Feather. We have Feather and Potions. We gotta just... Okay, is this where we do Explosive Pot? Because this fight's really bad otherwise. There's a lot of new co uh, cool relics in beta, man. There's a lot of new ones. It's most definitely going to be a explosive pot, I Evening. think. Evening. Evening, Narak. Thank you for the tier one, man. Welcome back. Hmm. Tungsten rod. Captain's wheel. Oh, shit. Alright, so we are doing static discharge, yeah? And then we're gonna try to close the pot. And we're doing that. Ooh, yes. All right. We don't have energy to really do this properly, but that's really good. Now, I, is this a focus pot turn or, or fight? Because this fight's pretty hard. Okay, guys, we gotta survive this hallway fight, and then we, hopefully these question marks are not hallway fights. We get like some a shop or an event, and then we can heal or rest, whatever, and then focus pot on the elite. This fight could kick my ass, but I think we can get through without potion. Just the first third, yeah. So think of it like anchor, but on the third turn. I want to play this, but then I'm scared that... I think you got to take a risk when you're, when you're with this deck. Easy.
can't really afford to do genetic right now. Unfortunate. I have 24 plus 16. Don't you wish I could do genetic here? Okay, we just gotta really hope. Okay, that's two rituals. That's insane, actually. We really gotta hope that we don't get a combat here. Just please give me something not a combat. Who had to go for the Asgore, uh, or FTO? Who had it's just really good when you have the static discharge. The only problem is I don't have energy, so who had it just back with three energy. Yeah, genetic I didn't have energy for. Which is probably why I shouldn't have taken it. <clears throat> Let me go for the weekend. We need mitigation. I don't I can't even do this. Wait. This is actually pretty good, but I can't do it. Only add stuff, uh, what's it called? Therian bottle? Fuck. Don't be combat, don't be combat. Okay, that's good. So we got a decent heal. Um, am I confident that I could beat an elite with focus pot in this fight? Yeah, picking the book itself is 15 HP. So I think the whole thing is like 21 HP. Around there. Okay, what kills me? What kills me here? Sl Slavers probably kill me, yeah? Okay. Focus pot, rainbow. Call it a day. Focus pot, rainbow, static discharge. Are we ever doing cultist pot? Nah, right? We're trying to save that for another fight. And this is not double focus, is it? Because I still have like a ways to go for the next one. Mm, the other part, this is you gain two rituals. So we, it's like a demon form, but for two. So normally it's one, but this in this case it's uh, two strength to turn. I think one focus pot should be enough. Fuck. I kinda wanna block. Extreme is great, you know, but that's a lot of damage. Happy flower. Okay, that's energy. That helps with our energy problems. Not bad. Okay. So we got Darkness Plus versus Rainbow versus Claw. Uh, Darkness Plus is a good way to handle the champ. Someone call Ojo. Safety first. Is Darkness even good, though, for this deck? Jeez. I gotta look at the champ though. The champ is like I gotta figure out a way to kill him. I think dark is we can nurse dark orb, but we also taking a lot of damage. I think we're never gonna really play rainbow. So dual cast is an important upgrade here. Energy purposes. Pentagraph is huge. We're getting free heals, which is great. I think at the second turn of weakness is very good. All right, let's go. I would love to survive here without having to uh, play Seek. I guess Seek could do this. Okay, Genetic is still not being played. That's really bad. Huh. 
big sad, big sad. Ah, uh, ritual can go champ. Totally true. I, yes, I got to play it. Yes. I got to play my genetic for one. Oh, man, now it's finally becoming a block. That's just 40 damage straight up. I think we have to bite the bullet. Unfortunate. Give me a heal pot. Give me a heal pot. Beam is pretty good. Because that's the sacred bark. So we don't have energy, but we have double effectiveness of potions. Beam is pretty good, but we're trying to get way too many like random offensive cards and not enough block. Like our effective block is really low. So I think we skipped the beam so it just feels like it's not good enough. And I think we could totally do an elite with focus pot. We use ritual pot for the for the champ, right? I mean, I'm running out of upgrades, but this is a decent upgrade. Fruit juice gives double, exactly. So fruit juice is insane, man. Ghost and jar is too intangible. I mean, it, if you have white beast statue, this is insane. I really want white beast statue. Hmm. All right, we need static discharge. Got it. So I was thinking I should use focus pot for this fight, right? And we're using cultus for the champ. It means we want to take damage. Lawrence would take five damage there. Hmm. I go for the weak in here. destroys that fight. Cold Snap for more Frost, so when we use Static Discharge, we get Frost stuff. I think we're going to hold off in Cold Snap for, or Static Discharge for the champ. Get another Rainbow. Jeez, I'll take the Rainbow. They, they want me to be Kappa Pride today. What's up, Traquil? I'll be Kappa Pride for them. I want more potions though, and guys, we have a lot of money, so if if this shop goes poorly... If this if this fight goes poorly and I had this gold, I'm gonna feel like such a donkey for dying with this much gold. I should've done all the whoopsies. Okay, so we have Pandagraph and we have... Two copies. Oh, that's gonna be huge. So recursion is probably pretty good to maintain the dark for this fight, right? And we kind of want to. What's up, Howdy, David? What's up? I think we should also add more cards because we get the feather to be bigger. So we have feather and we have pentagraph, so we can upgrade something like recursion. So we're gonna be enough life, I think. We should be fine. I didn't say focus spot for this, but I'm gonna do probably power and cultus. I see the power. We got double buffer. Which is pretty good. But you also can get double bias, which is not as good right now. Fuck. So we'll play both of these. There's also a world in which you save that. Oh, I forgot to do cult this pot, right? Cause you, I think we want to use all our potions here. That was my bad. Worst case scenario, we have buffer for this. 
So if we want to just stack up the dark, we let this buffer go through and just let that dark simmer simmer. Or we can draw first. So I think we're getting a buffer to, to proc here. So we take advantage of that and we do this. All right, one buffer down. So I want to get Static Discharge out of my deck. So I kind of want to play it, but it can mess up my dark in the future. So should I just not do this? I can save the buffer by playing Zap here, right? All right I'll get this out of the deck, but that's, I, I guarantee that's probably going to be dangerous. The dark's getting big though. Cool, this is looking nice. If that's another buffer, so we can just show here. We could do recursion. Start buttering him up. Recursion means I do 82, 84 damage plus 30. It's not bad, it's 114. And I can start striking him down. Should I do that? Should I go for the recursion stuff? I think Recursion Hollow is better. I mean, but I have dual cast now. And then I have buffer, so I'm not taking damage. So I can just let one Dark Orb be doubled right now and then just save the next one. Or we can go for the weekend. Dual cast twice. Um, looking at sixty plus eighty-four. Nah, it's not good enough. We can for the next turn. That's why I'm gonna do this. I'm really tempted to do cast now. Oh, but that splits him. That splits him, and then I'll be vulnerable for his execute, right? Let's wait. So we have full block here. So we're getting to the point where we want to start popping off. I want to keep one dark. So playing this is bad because I want to play... I have to attack now because he's going to spin himself. If I do this, then it gets rid of my other dark. It makes it harder to do dual cast, but I can start doing things like straight up attacking him. Because I'm not weakened, so I can start straight up attacking him. This might be worth it. Yes, it gets rid of my dark for dual cast, but I might not get dual cast. And I can start attacking him with just like the fact that I have 10 strength, 12 next turn. The alternative is to let this dark simmer a little bit longer. Uh, let's do this. I like this, I like this, this is fine.
So we got all for one Thunderstrike Biased. Okay, Bias is probably the best if I can find like a core surge. We have Seek, right? So Seek and Bias is like two thirds of a really good combo. Which all we need is a core surge and we're popping off. The all for one does recur a lot of things though. Recurs the dual cast, the zap. Go for the eyes, the recursion. Oof. Just got done watching your stacked poison run you uploaded. No man should have all that no power. No one man should have all that power. Yo, thank you for the five bucks, man. I appreciate it. I agree with you. Nah, the other strike is not good here, but um, all for one is probably the play with recursion all for one zap dual cast. Pretty proactive. But again, I do want to get bias. I have course, I have seek, so and I have a lot of money. If I go to a shop, I can probably find course surge. We want the energy no matter what. So I guess I'll just take the curse key. We could do Runic Dome. We could do Runic Dome. You're out? Why? Because you didn't take the strike? Hey, peace out, man. Yeah, take it, Kazuchiya. P. Mm. Runic Pyramid is not the play. Ruined Pyramid is very good, but I, I think we need the energy here. I mean, I don't know. Happy Flower is decent. Let's get the curses here. Yeah, Ruined Pyramid helps me get dual casts more reliably. Oh, we want to hit a shop, so let's shop there, bam. Just shop there, bam. I'm gonna take a worse path just to get the shop. Even though this path is not bad, we get an elite, an elite, and a late shop. And then maybe one of these question marks is a shop. I'm more inclined to want to just take the early elite just to get that shop. Like this path is a little better, but nah, let's get that shop. The shop makes it a better path, actually. And Pentagraph is huge. We've just been making money. We haven't been able to hit a shop. Defrag? Okay, so Hologram Plus is very good, but that's a defrag. It's pretty decent path. Are right, we going against the Awakened one? So at what point are we thinking, maybe Hologram is better? We don't take defrag. Like defrag is nice for every other fight. Hologram is just really good. Uh, hmm. I have bias. What if I just want to focus on like getting core surge bias going on? No. Okay, so are we taking the, the gold and going for the shop? Alright, if we take this this curse, we get the removal here at this event, and then we get the shop. Pog? We have courier, guys. Think of the courier. Yes? I'm doing it. Please don't die right here. Too much money! Oh my god. Are you shitting me? body okay removal what the actual f Jesus Christ value whoa whoa this changed course dramatically 
This changed course dramatically. This is now Corbier membership card. I'm taking Omomori. Well, f okay, guys, let's go shopping. I like the deep frag. I kind of like, uh, mm, kind of like the meat and the bone. I'll take that. You know, we're talking pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. That's nice. Um, let's remove one of the normalities. Jesus Christ, this is so good. Good, 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 good. I want to find Core Surge, so. I guess 11 cost hologram, but it's not upgraded. There's another shop to find Core Surge, right? We can get some potions. Yeah, we can get some power potions. Why not? Um, maybe I just take Vajra to see what else I get. Lantern's not bad. Uh, more healing when I enter a shop. You know, I'm buying out all the, I'm buying out all the relics so I can get the good relics. I mean, I'm rich, guys. I had 1.5k gold and I'm just buying relics with membership card couriers. It's insane. You think Core Surge will be around? If I buy Melter, I'll find Core Surge. We still have enough money for the next shop. I think I want to get like this. I'm trying to like singing bowl. I'm not gonna get much use out of. All right, we'll save the gold for the next shop. Although melter defect's not bad because we can probably get like a the defect means we can get what's it called like a better power like like echo form or something, right? Double defrag though? Nah, nah, nah. Alright, let's go. What if we die here? That'd be terrible. What if I... What if I, uh... Power push number two, just because I want to make sure I don't die to this elite. Because we want to make sure we hit the next shop. So I use my resources. I think we use our resources. We need frost, though. We absolutely need frosts. Fuck. Why isn't I hitting the minions? I don't get it. If I choose two cards, should I, should I do two shoot cards and is it worth it? The normality's gonna come, so should I do liquid memories now? God, I'm wasting all my stuff. Trust that the lane's gonna kill one of these, right? So if I kill this guy, for instance, let's say I kill this guy, right? There's three lightnings. We we trust that the odds are gonna hit that guy at least once.
That's a fair trust, right? I feel okay trusting that. On the alternative, maybe I just do darkness, but then it makes the odds lower. Well, not really, because it's 50% now. Thank you. Fuck. Oh, hot tamale, dude. I'm close to winning, but... 27. Normality is really bad here. Means it's playable. Shit about that fourth potion. I know I should have. I didn't use my money, guys. I was greedy. If I use my money, oh, I was trying to save for the next shop. Normality actually kills me here, though. I should have played static discharge. I think. Oh, this is not stacked up either. Yeah, I should have bought the next potion. I should have bought the potions because they were so cheap and I had the uh, spark. Okay, okay. There's a, there's a potential that I don't die, right? So, 43. Ah, oh, no. Fuck. No matter what, I'm dead, right? There's nothing I can do. With normality, there's nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Nah, because we can make some go down to 27, yeah? Well, I only did 9-9. Nine, nine. These are, the defects are the worst potions I could get. Like, I could have gotten a buffer, I could have gotten electrodynamics. I did get offered static discharge, but I decided to go for defrag again. Even if I hit one of them twice, it's only saving 9 damage. Right? Which is the same as a block. Nothing I can do. Regardless, happens at the beginning of the turn. No, I can't believe I lost, guys. Alright. Should I have cashed out more? At the shop, was this be being too greedy? No, I I did the math every which way, guys. I'm dead. I should have had frost. That's what I needed. This dark orb can jack all. It's the card draw too, though. If, if we got the frost and the rainbow, oof. Well, I don't mean like buy more cards, I mean like buy potions and buy like more relics and dig for better relics, right? Because I could have bought more potions. God, I was cashing out. This was actually insane. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I, there's nothing I could do. I'm always going to remember that as the time I didn't cash out hard enough. 